Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to ICBM. Today I'm playing ICBM with the Dawn at Midnight Total Conversion mod. And um, I'll be doing a separate video, slash have already done a separate video on all the stuff that you can find in this mod. It's a ton. It's too much to unpack in one video, or at least when I'm playing the game. But I'll try to show you as much of the different mechanics as I can. Uh, Kita has volunteered as a uh, Pacific victim. And uh, he's going to try and bomb me or nuke me. I'm not even sure what his plan is, but he is listening in on Discord. So yeah, I'm I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to have to try and uh, talk to you guys on the video and at the same time not try to him. So push to talk is going to be critical on this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope to get my intel that way. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, that would be great. But... Now, looking at the tech tree, um, there is a ton. You got generation three, four, five, four, sorry, four and a half and five uh, aircraft, better air to air missiles, uh, glide bombs, hydro, sorry, hybrid guidance missiles, modern SAMs, which means you can get early ABMs only in 55 minutes. It's going to take a while. Cruise missiles going all the way up to 2020s, which takes you an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, you get submarines of various designs. You get modern warships, including destroyers, cruisers, heavy surface combatants, a.k.a. battleships and carriers. Uh, we get nuclear submarines of various designs. And I'll try to, again, look into all of this stuff in a different video. Linked down below in the description oh, if I already have it up. <laughs> what are you planning? No, 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 no. I, I, I fucked up already. <laughs> like, I had the old plan set out in my head. And with the stuff I started with, I totally forgot about one of the assets that I needed. And I was... Right. <laughs> ah, that's great. Well, now, in my case, I have yet. three air bases. I have a strategic air base. If, uh, East Asia wants an alliance. <laughs> Not a bad idea for you, probably. No, that's why. So, but that. Oh, he rejected. That's painful. <laughs> rejected by an AI. Ah, shit. Now, the air bases, naval air station, strategic air base, and over here, a tactical air base. They have different aircraft, all of them. Uh, and meanwhile, I'll have to queue some research, or sorry, queue production. Tactical air base allows for launching of fighters and multi role combat aircraft. Of course, you also have the air patrol, long wave radar of 700 meters, so that's a pretty, pretty sizable radar station already. Um, radar coverage. By comparison, the standard long wave radars on the radar sites also have 700. But of course, this thing launches aircraft. Now, you get the F 102 and the F 100. Over here on the strategic air base, we get the F 102 and the B 47, packed with 45 you conventional to bombs. Two times or three times speed? Uh, yeah, let's go two. Also has Megaton, of course, as a standard researchable or sorry, standard buildable object. And then we have the Naval Air Station, coming DB with the carrier-capable right? aircraft, uh, the carrier-capable attack aircraft, so these are the fighters, these are the attack aircraft, and then the ASW. As you can see, the mod is still in development, which is why it says a -W or ASW name, um, anti-submarine warfare, and the name is yet to be determined. The mod is still in active development, so stuff that you see here might not actually turn out to be happening, or might not turn out to be in the actual game by the time that you're playing it. Um, again, there is a lot to unpack. Now let's have a look at the destroyer for a sec. This one carries naval flak, yes indeed. Anti-air guns, that's the era that we're at. It has a naval light gun, and it has torpedoes, with a range of just 125. You can enable or disable these weapons as you see fit. Speed of these things is 55, and, uh, well, the flak is just... It's very interesting. Um, I have seen destroyers try to use flak. Well, not just try, but successfully use flak to take down incoming anti-ship missiles. So they have quite a bit of potency already. Now, I'm researching some of the base techs, 1960s, 1970s engineering, and then I'm going to go with electronics. Because this opens up the way for basically all the other techs. You need a lot of technology. More so than in the base game of ICBM, you're going to have to specialize. Because if you look at practical laser weapons, which means that you can get uh, laser space weapons, that's a 1 hour 10, and this is 55 minutes. So it's going to take you about 2 hours, and that's at 50% production, in order to get to where you need to be to get space lasers. But that means that you get everything else default 
everything else. Radars, technology, uh, sorry, radars, torpedoes, submarine designs, warship designs, cruise missiles, ASATs, AA, everything else. You're going to have to make a choice and you're probably going to end up at, let's say, tier 2, tier 3. Because the rest is just going to be too expensive. Or you can go full on into uh, to science and just try to get as much science as possible. But that will come at the expense of your buildings. Now let's uh, unmute <laughs> Kita for a bit. I'm trying very hard in this video to blend between having uh, instructions on what the game is doing or what the mod is doing and still playing the game effectively and trying to hit Kita. Sorry, I had you muted for a bit as I was explaining a bit about the different Research aircraft complete. and the tech stuff. Ah, okay, no problem. I only asked one thing about what BB meant, or if that meant battleship, but yep. I figured out by just reading. BB is battleship, BC is battle cruiser, but we don't have those here. Mm -hmm. um, CA is heavy cruiser, and that's going to change in nuclear powered warships into CG, which is guided cruiser. All right. So it no longer does it carry your standard gun systems, but it's going to switch to guided missiles. All right, yeah, gotcha. Let's see if South America is interested in an alliance. Nope, they're not. Hold on. Nope. <laughs> I guess I don't have any ships yet. I'm going to build a battleship, and I'll talk you guys through what that ship can do. Because it is an interesting asset. The battleship. Heavy surface combatant. It has a couple of naval flak weapons. It has light naval guns, but also heavy naval guns. These things can travel at a mere 35 speed, as opposed to the destroyers, which are already doing 55. So don't expect your battleship to go anywhere in a hurry. The battleships, at a later date, get upgraded to heavy surface combatants. That's sort of their... Well, their name, you did, if you will. Uh, uh, basic settings, or what's it? General yeah, basic setting. settings. Yeah, okay, basic. Yeah, gotcha. These things have long wave radar, short wave radar, so but they can also no, have. not to wait too long with our attacks. No, you can go right away. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not. <laughs> no, not ready yet? No, 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 no. And what if I am? Uh, well, then, uh, gentlemen's agreement. <laughs> no. You've come to the wrong game for that. Nah, shit. Cole isn't even here. <laughs> <laughs> just to strike him, I'm gonna hit Manila. Which is a one-way trip for my bomber. Let's just make sure it goes there right away. It's gonna be one delivery of a Megaton bomb. Uh, there is, however, the risk that that triggers the AI, but they too will not have a lot of nukes yet. Anyway, the battleships, slow behemoths, um, they can get upgraded with space radar as well. And over the horizon radar. Let's just say hi to Manila. Heavy cruisers, slash cruisers, depending on how you want to classify them. Currently only packing naval flak and naval light guns, or light naval guns. Um, at some point you can swap loadouts, depending on what you have researched. Now once my 1970s tech is done, I'm going to at least have early ASM. Oh sorry, no, uh, early SAMs. And I want to get access to the cruise missiles, so that I have uh, access to anti-ship oh missiles. Those are <laughs> Indian cruisers, or what is it? West, what? Asia. West Asia are just <laughs> going straight through my uh, my uh, my islands. <laughs> I, I, I only what, with the navy? Them. Yeah, with their navy, and I only spot them when they were through all the way. <laughs> hmm. uh. The AI is not happy to see me. Nope. Why does nobody want to join my alliance? I do have a fair amount of assets, which I think is the criterion for the AI to pick whether or not they want to ally with me. This is just to mess with Kita for a bit. It's only a one megaton weapon system. Oh. Yeah. Or not. No, that's not, you motherfucker. <laughs> you sneaky bastard, holy shit. I'm like, huh, blue, blue. I'm blue, right? Oh. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Not that blue. <laughs> Alright. Oh. 
Let's see if the AI goes happy with the uh, ICBM systems again, the missile systems. Mm, I hope not. Let's get an aircraft carrier and a couple of heavy cruisers <laughs> slash cruisers. Basically, call them cruisers. Doesn't mean if they're or doesn't matter if they're heavy cruisers or guided missile cruisers or whatever. I want to send a carrier task force over to mess with Kita a bit. This thing is very dangerous. Sam site. No matter what tech it is, it is dangerous. Uh, based on what I'm seeing there, I think he already has the phased array tracking radar. So he's very heavy on defending from air threats. That means that this navy is probably pretty broken. Um, oh, fuck these ships. What Russia again? Or East uh, Asia? Yeah, East Asia. Uh, no, what's it? West Asia. West there, Asia. It, oh, from India. From India, yeah. Right. No, East Asia is coming here as well. Come on, give me an alliance, mate. One of you. Yeah, I've tried alliance all of them. Form. Oh shit! What? Yeah, there we go. Thank God. It's like the AI is really considering what to do. Alliance yes. formed. Oh, uh, with South America, of course, these guys. Come on, buddy. Alliance formed. Thank you. Share research. Okay, now I can pull this destroyer off the line. Oh, sorry, the, this battleship. West Asia request. What? West Asia requested to join and you said no? Oh, crap. I can't invite them. They have to willingly join and then South America has to say yes that's fine I cannot really control this um yes no fuck's sake the AI in my alliance keeps rejecting new applicants <laughs> Europe tried joining nope West nope. Asia tried joining nope well, what is there. wrong with these guys? <laughs> aircraft carrier. Interestingly, aircraft come carriers can also come naval flak. And they have 20 nuclear bombs in storage. They also come with, and this is fantastic, an ASW helicopter. Which, and this is a feature that I love about this mod, joins the air patrol. Now this is, of course, a bit odd. We have aircraft of the F-9F and the A-4, which are, I believe, 1950s, 1960s-ish. But then we have an SH-60, <laughs> a Seahawk, which I believe wasn't quite around in that day and age. Now, let's have this battleship join. Uh, and I also want this DD to join. The DD now has been upgraded with more weapon systems. It also comes with the service to air missile. Uh, oh, and sorry, no, it already had the torpedo, of course. Now, I don't have to fear from South, uh, South America, but... This kind of opens up the possibility for Keto to go even heavier on me. So that's risky. You see those, uh, like, islands to my east coast? Like, the small ones? Uh, yeah. Do they belong to you, or South America, or just They're just neutral, not I think. Neutral, okay. East of Port Moresby. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, they're neutral. Yeah. Okay. You can build Research on Auckland, complete. but not on the other parts. Yeah. So the uh, yeah, gotcha. Cruiser join also comes with anti-ship missiles and SAMs, and this one I can swap. I can have uh, the multi-mission loadout or the nuclear cruise missile loadout, but in order to achieve this, I need to have twenty nuclear cruise missiles in store. I don't have that. So I'm just going to use this one in its current configuration as a multi-role or multi-mission platform. You can follow. Uh, that's pretty much all that I need here. What do I want next? A couple of SAM sites never hurt anybody, except for the enemy aircraft. Early air-to-surface missiles, no. Laser-guided bombs, no. Air-to-air -air missiles, no. Uh, third generation aircraft means that my carrier aircraft get upgraded, my multi-rolls turn into F4s, 
The aircraft carrier capable attack aircraft turned into A6 and the bombers turned into B-52s. Right. Requires 1960 engineering, which is what I have. Otherwise it would be red. Uh, this turns the bombers into the B-1B, the F-18C from the carriers, the F-16s as multi-role aircraft, F-14s as carrier-capable fighters, and fighters turn into F-15Cs. Uh, Let's get those things researched. Oh crap, I cancelled the other one. Well, the cruiser is ready to go. I'm going to have that one just patrol here, back and forth. Not that much to do for it. The cruiser over here similarly doesn't have that much to do. I'm not going to protect my ally. That's his responsibility. So you're just going to follow that cruiser. Sam site ready. Very important distinction in this mod. A Sam site normally in the game gets upgraded to also include ABMs. In this mod it does not. It does not get ABMs. You need to build a specific ABM site for which you first need to research early ABM systems. That gives you the ABM site, and the ABM site allows you to actually go after targets of the ICBM variant. Uh, it's a carry group. Shit. What carrier group? In India, again, as always. But we have Sounds like, like a U uh, problem. Yeah, my allies are uh, are operating on the other side of the uh, Indian Ocean, or hmm. at, at the Pacific, your side, basically. So. Now it's great that I get better aircraft, but I don't have any weapons that I can use on enemy ships. So let's get early air to service missiles. I really love the icons as well. Uh, I believe this is the AGM-65. This, I'm not too sure about. And then we end up with the, is that the JSON? Alliance formed. Joint standoff weapon? Hold on. Alliance form? West Asia and Europe. Yeah. <clears throat> Just as I attack West Asia, of course. I think they had proper motivation oh, to quickly yeah. form an alliance. <laughs> What's my radar range on this thing? It doesn't have radar range. Crap, right, yeah, my mistake. It's an ASW helicopter. It is not... Production like, complete. Don't do any damage, what the hell? No, it is not what I need. So if those guys do... Annoying. I'm going to turn my cruiser into a cruise missile variant. It's going to take me a while to get those, though. Warhead efficiency is 13%. Well, that's... I need to find that carrier group. I want to illustrate how well the Navy can perform. And I'm going to get four generation, a fourth generation aircraft, which means that my A6s is going to turn right into F-18s. Now, it's nice if you have an F-18, but if you don't have early air-to-air -air missiles, they're just going to use the standard ones. So that is something that you oh, really yes, want to research. Oh, yes, that's the carrier. Thank what? God. Carrier's <laughs> yeah, gone? I, research yeah, I the carrier from India. By the way, icons also change. I have the standard radar site, but it looks like Kita already has an upgraded yeah, radar one. I'm taking them down there. That's good. What radar site did he get? There, improved long wave radar. That's another tech that I want to queue up to allow my ships and everything else to spot way farther. If you want to get AWACS, which would be nice in my case, I'm going to have to do another five minutes of uh, research for airborne early warning. Allows AWACS and carrier-capable AWACS. Which in my case might be very valuable. The problem, however, is that these ships are slow. These aircraft carriers. Only 35. Uh, I'm going to detach the cruiser. Because I'm currently building up my stock of nuclear cruise missiles. Which could be handy just to wipe out some assets from Kita, of course. Um up air-to-air -air missiles. 
After World War II, the major, major powers sought to equip planes with missiles capable of automatically locking onto enemy planes, greatly increasing the range at which enemy fighters and bombers could be destroyed. Uh, it was the AIM-9 Sidewinder, so that's what I'm researching now. Next up comes the Beyond Visual Range Missile. Improves precision and range. Both are very nice to have. And there we go, we have the upgraded aircraft, and you can actually see them turning into F-14s. But the missiles are still pretty bad. They have a, a good speed, but range, I don't know about. I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough. Now let's also stack up a bunch of uh, SAMs, radars, and over the horizon. That's not a priority, though. Now, what I do not want the ship to do is swap over to a different loadout and automatically use the nuclear cruise missile. So I'm going to detick that or untick it and make sure that it doesn't get to use that weapon system. We're already 55 minutes into the game. It seems like the AI does use the new units, but they can be a little trigger happy. That's the fight, by the way. I don't like that self. So, we'll use not that fight, that smells like a strike. <laughs> <laughs> he was quiet. Yeah. Bit folks on me at the fight. My F 14s are getting flanked by destroyers. Attach, battleship, off you go. They come now with surface-to-air missiles, so they're, they're going to be safe against air threats, insofar as they're still existing. Which I rather doubt. The battleship has pretty decent range on the heavy naval guns. They just look great. I have another 81 seconds before I'm forced to resume. Now, I cannot shoot down ballistic missiles, but what I can do is shoot enemy missiles. I can shoot missiles, just not ICBMs. Cold War AAMs coming up. Great. Next up, uh, Cold War designs. Looks like I'm not the only ship actually attacking these guys. My carrier, five aircraft, and a bunch of... Yeah, okay, we're fine. Battleship. There we go. Not terribly accurate. <laughs> Not terribly accurate at all. But it packs quite a punch if you actually are able to land some of these shells. There we go. Just about cut a destroyer in half. But this battleship is taking quite a bit of damage from that enemy destroyer. Boom. Another salvo, and the DD is still not dead. I want you to attack the enemy aircraft. Using bombs on F-18s. It's not the best loadout, but it will do damage against the aircraft. Although not a ton, as you can see. Normally the carrier will make it dead. Time control, pull, time control pool is empty, so I cannot predict my speed anymore. Say again? Do I need to pause the game for you? No, 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 it's fine. Don't underestimate destroyer flak. It can be pretty damn dangerous. SSKs. Okay, old submarines from South America. Okay, this one's ready to go. The cruiser now has her 20 nuclear cruise missiles on board, which I find quite a bit more balanced than actually going with the uh, short-range ballistic missile. I'm not even sure if that currently improves the cruiser anymore. Um, early ICBMs, no. Advained, it, it says advained, but it's supposed to say advanced. Tactical nuclear weapon, no, it only increases the yield of the nuclear bomb by the looks of it. Now what I quite like is that satellites 
are only five minutes of research now. They're all pretty small research projects, but once you want a bunch more of them, they really start to add up. You really have to do a lot of research in order to get effective with Alliance some of the formed. tech. Wait, what? Oh, really? No, it wasn't me. I was like, no, you, you got him? And I was like... No, I didn't get him. Uh, it was, uh, ah, battleship yeah, increased yeah, to 40 yeah. knots. Uh, or steaming up. 40 speed points, whatever that is. We right, have, right, have advanced shortwave radar, that's good. Cold Renewable Designs. Oh, right, that's what we need the engineering for. Gotcha. Now, all these SAM sites are nice. If the enemy would just bother to fly over with a bunch of jets. But they're not going to do that, because they probably don't have the range. So what I need to do is make sure I get access to the ABMs. That's a 30-minute research project. ships in enemy waters where they can repair is just... ...onbegonnen werk in Dutch. It's just... you can't win it. Uh, no. Unless you're in your own territory. You have to really overpower them. Yeah. Or you have to be in your own territorial waters, like Russia versus yep. Europe, where you both can repair. Battleship coming up to fix. That'll be a slugfest as well. See, this one now has over the horizon radar, the battleship, the heavy service combatant, and space radar. The mod, by the way, is not by Tarsus. This is a different mod. Uh, let me... This is from uh, Tolis. And of course, the link will be down. the The mod will be linked down below in the description. Holy shit! These guys have better cruise missiles. That destroyer could be a real threat to my ships. I think they have these anti-ship missiles. The game now makes a distinction between anti-ship missiles, or uh, sorry, anti-surface missiles and, and uh, anti-ship missiles, which in the standard version of ICBM is not a thing. Good lord, this takes forever. Aircraft carrier, forty-five. Okay, so that one, too, is quite a bit faster. Cold War ships coming up. Cold War naval designs improves the uh, DDG, the CG, the BB, and the CVN. Or rather, turns the aircraft carrier into a nuclear aircraft carrier. Nuclear powered. Research complete. Which makes these things do 55. And these things, the heavy service combatants, do 50. Firepower is still not really much improved, although I think that maybe the heavy naval guns got a bit more, in well, maybe a bit more accurate. Um, and aside from that, they lost their smaller naval guns. I'm not sure how AI is much as those. well. Like East Asia and Russia are both uh, researching the same thing. Oh, great! Oh, crap. Yeah, great for you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. I, know. I like how the AI does want to show the, sh share their nuclear assets, but Russia and stuff don't want to. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Russia more secretive. Yeah. And East Asia as well, Russia and China. Uh, rejected. Fuck me. New technology introduced satellites. Really oh, that's lovely. Know, though. So my ally researched satellites. I want a satellite up to see what my aircraft carrier might be able to strike. The aircraft carrier upgraded to CVN, nuclear aircraft carrier, carries 20 nuclear bombs from the storage that I had. Unfortunately, it does look like I lost my ASW helo. I don't see it circling around. So against submarines, I only really have the destroyer. That could be a problem. Now, I have a range of 620 anti-ship missile, but my radar... I'm oh, a radar 700. Okay. Research complete. There we go. We've got better cruise missiles now. Range 650, speed 1,000. Anti-ship missiles looking good. Improved SAM guidance coming up, which will make the mobile SAM... Uh, which will improve the mobile SAM and improve the capability of the standard SAM sites. These are the Ur-2 surface missiles, laser-guided bombs. Yeah, in order to get laser-guided bombs, you first need laser guidance, which is all the way down here. At the tech level, there. Uh, here, laser guidance. Six minutes only. Now, it looks really quiet, 
but I think looks will be deceiving. The only problem that I find is that this battleship might not be able... Okay, yeah, I can use the battleship to go after the SAM site and the radar site. That's the plan. And I want to use my aircraft to ensure the safety of the aircraft carrier group. And especially the battleship. Let's rebase some of these guys. Because I lost three attack aircraft and a few fighters. Oh crap, they're going to run out of range. Carrier, halt. You first need to get more aircraft. There. Satellite up. Hello, Kida. Let's have a look. Ooh. That's a lot of SAM sites there. I might cancel the air patrol on the aircraft carrier to ensure that my aircraft don't all get shot down by the time that they get there. Uh, what I want to research, or rather, not so much research, but what I want to get next. Nuclear cruise missiles, MRBMs, launched by missile vehicles, which I probably can build. Yeah, missile vehicles. Relatively small nukes. Mostly effective against the assets that you have, not so much against cities. Let's just queue up another queue, a couple of uh, satellites, just to ensure that I have a bit more information about what's going on in the world. Anti, uh, this is important by the way, anti uh, ship batteries, coastal missile batteries are no longer a thing. Are you going heavy on subs, <laughs> self? Maybe. Mm. What's it to you? Well, I mean, you've got zero assets, like zero. Thanks. To yeah, fair enough. To zero power. assets? Yeah. What the fuck is well, in You've got there? a cruiser. Now you told me about your Tomcats, so I you know that. But... Yeah, they just came out of the naval air station. You don't need to worry about those. That's shooting back with a naval gun. This destroyer is set to not have naval guns anymore. So it's barely doing the damage. Oh, no, actually it is. This DDG is barely taking damage from the gunfire by the African destroyer, which apparently is fully unupgraded. It's just stop. These guys barely took a scratch. There we go, that's one DD dead. I'm not sure why they're not taking down the aircraft carrier. But maybe they already took out all the aircraft from it. That might be the explanation. Phased array tracking radars are coming up. Uh, mostly important so that any air force that Kida has... I'm not sure if he does. I'm not seeing I any. I might have made a small mistake. Only happy accidents. Well, the thing is... I went for a tactic. You um, did? Mm -hmm. But... Look at the range. You are out of range. <laughs> uh, and so is basically everyone else because my allies are next to me. <laughs> so you cannot hit anybody? Nah, basically. Like, I can hit stuff, of course. Like, something that's within range. But, like, you are quite far out of range. <laughs> so... <laughs> I won't you, hold it against you. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Or maybe you should. Maybe it's all just propaganda, this, or what is it? Misinformation. Uh, you're gonna come with your battleship towards the... And the carrier? Are you coming with your whole carrier group? Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. Then China's gonna fuck you up. Or not. Oh, yes, thank the lord. That was uncalled for. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had to do something before you came here with your carrier. Me no likey. That is going to set me back a bit. I don't really have long-range ICBM tech yet. I was much more reliant upon my ships. I can still do that. But I might have just started World War Three. Yeah, keep thinking that, buddy. 
I have surface to air missiles, which are pretty damn good. I have a loadout with Sam's anti ship missiles and cruise missiles. If one sub approaches me, I'm going to have a really big issue. So after this one, and before the battleship, or sorry, before the... Actually, let's prioritize this one. It's only two minutes. I need another destroyer. Yeah, he you pissed off of... China, I think, stealth. Sweet Jesus, that's a fairly sizable fleet. Yeah, the, the Chinese fleet. <laughs> you see it? Yes. Yeah. That's a pretty large armada they got there. Maybe I need to upgrade my battleship. Switch to modern warships at the expense of everything else. How a battleship turns into a modern combatant, I'm not too sure about, but here we are. Range on these guns, 450. Range on these cruise missiles, 10, or 1,023. Yeah, still not great. DD ready? Perfect. Um. Race your way okay. over here, because I really need your ass. Uh, loadout, multi-mission. Sam's torpedoes and ship missiles. Although the Sam tech is... Oh, sorry, torpedo tech is dreadful. I haven't upgraded those at all. Nor have I upgraded sonar systems. So I'll not be able to improve or spot uh, enemy submarines probably in time at all. Let's also queue that one up. I'm not going to tell him that I have the cruise missile yet. I just want to see his uh, cruiser randomly disappear. New satellite ready to go. All right, China, what else do you have? Keep an, e keep an eye on that Navy. Oh, they're just, just hopping around there. These are the Chinese SAM sites, East Asian SAM sites. We're one hour 37 into the game. I still don't really have a strike plan in more ways than one. Is that ship still there? Because it's just outside of my radar range. Fuck it. This is... Wow. That's almost scary. I was just gonna say to you, this is a fairly long run as nothing firing. And just the minute I start my sentence, it's uh-huh, uh-huh. And um, <laughs> I wish you the best of luck, Stealth, because it's not me, but my friends are... Uh, yeah, you'll see. Friends in A high places. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. My allies just went nuts. I think they had enough. It wasn't me. Like, I Whoa, didn't say it's gonna rain us. over North America now. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Russia. Is that really, really necessary? I can't strike that. Not with the naval air station. Really. If things are gonna kick off, might as well try and hit your southern neighbor. I'm gonna hit these two, but that's the extent of it. Where though? Where? Oh, you you've got. Okay, China, what? where are you? Help me. You're gonna attack me. I think that's a smart move, so. Hmm. That missile does not count as an ICBM and got shot down by the oh, same side. Well. Fuck's sake. Mexico hit two and a half million dead. I was not quite ready for this. But I wanted to just strike out anyway, and the AI in this game mode is a hell of a lot more aggressive. So it's not just myself, but also my ally who got hit pretty hard as well. Yeah, this is a Sam site, by the way. What? How is one full volley on a there battleship goes my not wiping out a Sam site? Yes. What the hell did you build that Sam site out of? Because that uh, thing took three full volleys from a battleship and didn't didn't even. Just budge. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe your battleship missed? Is that a thing Research in this complete. game? I don't know. Don't think so. Um, I still don't have a way to kill people. <laughs> okay, that sounds terrible. I still don't have an actual strike platform to deal damage against cities. 
So, 10 megaton warhead. It is an improved long wave radar to further buff Even now the it's calm. Like, they, like last Netherlands. game, they, it kicked off, and when it kicked off, it was like yeah, over within it was 10 almost minutes. instant. And now it's just like a ceasefire again. Oh, come on, mate. Ceasefire talking about. Yeah. Is this what you had in mind? Yes. I like how standard ships can no longer attack assets ashore. Maybe destroyers can. But my cruiser can't. Hmm. Fuck's sake, another missile. Whoa! You're gonna hit, keep hitting my silos. I'm gonna, or my, well, is it my sem sites? It's not um, even your silos. No, no. Um. Oh, it's fucking Kita as well. All right. I'm going to need better aircraft. Screw that long wave radar for now. I'll see if I can get back to that later. Structure destroyed. What? Airbase. Yeah, I lost two air bases. Uh oh. oh what happened somebody's here? fucking up alliances. Oh. Everybody broke the alliance? Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> this is something I have not seen the AI do before. Uh, what the hell just happened? Cells, you wanna team up? Nah. No. <laughs> shit. Shit, 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 shit. Alliance formed. What? <laughs> Just gonna make. Oh, but China's so strong. Come on. Alliance what? formed. The hell? Alliance broken. What? Oh, I'm getting hit big time now. Oh, what was this? South America. Production oh, complete. Mother... Uh, production complete. Lovely. I still don't have ABM sites. So I cannot do anything about those missiles which are constantly attacking me. Or which are hitting me. Uh, I need a strategic airbase. A city has been bombed. Apparently the guys don't hear it, don't want to play nice. That's fine. I'll just load up on guided bombs, which I still don't have researched yet. That thing has to go. These SAM sites are too dangerous to engage in my current capacity. Oh, come on now. Just send out the whole air wing. That missile vehicle has to die. Jesus, that took me way too long. What's my GDP? 85. Pollution's already 20%. I still need a lot more time. Well, your battleships are still... Destroyed. 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 Screw off. That's so annoying. A city has been bombed. Maybe I can hit this one with the cruise missiles. A city missiles. has been bombed. Don't we have the anti-ship missile battery thing in this spot? Nope. That's nice. Can oh. Really use that. That's a fucking boomer. Where are you? No, you're out here. You're gonna you're gonna crash, aren't you? E yeah. <laughs> Even my uh, naval air station's gone. That is unfortunate. Twelve minutes to a naval air base, sorry, to a strategic air base, and then another ten, no, five minutes to thermonuclear bombs. Once that is done, I'm going to probably go with better missiles, air to surface. Well, air to surface missiles at all. So that I can hit the SAM sites in South America and start working my way towards getting some cities hit. But man, am I behind. I have done no damage at all. Yet I have taken a ton of damage. Alright, Sunshine, listen up. No. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm not sure if he has more. Yes, there. We're gonna have to take that down. We cannot be trusted with that. Whoa, that's a bunch of destroyers. He's even swapped some of the loadouts around. 37% pollution already? 38? See, this is the thing that I always have... What? 
<laughs> this is the thing that I always have with a mod. Uh, I re to, uh, sort of re need to relearn the game. And during one of your first playthroughs, you don't have that luxury. You don't have the luxury of time. You don't get to relearn the game. Russia has so many others for Sam sites. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's <laughs> nuts. <laughs> I thought they were all uh, rocket launchers or whatever you call No, them. well they got plenty of those too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Laser guy the bombs. I haven't seen those yet. I might just need to go full on with production and get at least a few points so I'm not negative Research points. Complete. So, all the way to there. Uh, insofar as that helps me. And then queue up a couple of these. Remove the ASW helo. Oh, you cannot do that. Fortunately, these are going to go quick. Warhead efficiency is at 100. We're already at 48% pollution here. Mm -hmm. These things need to go. Bogota is a pretty decent target. New strike plan. Origin... Strategic air base, target, South America. Shit, I'm not gonna have any kind of time. Or uh, target city. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any kind of kills today. Well, that's uh, the last game. That's not helpful. Uh, give me a couple of fives. I'm oh, sorry, tens. Yep. Good enough. Put it over there. Execute strike plan. Execute plan alpha. Alliance broken. Lovely. Uh, of course he's gonna. Ah, oh, this motherfucker! It's Cole. It's it's AI Cole. I'm with AI Cole. Why? Ah, uh, he just like broke the alliance and started hitting me. I was in the alliance with. <laughs> Yeah, don't trust the AI on this one. So now we're getting some big boom there. I might lose a few There's aircraft, my, uh, but so far I'm pretty decent. Anti-ship. Standard bombs. Uh, can I use my aircraft carrier to just strike out against these SAM sites? Everybody's GDP is quite high, except for East Asia. But yeah. I hit him hard, and West Asia I hit him hard as well. Point of no return. At this point, I don't care. I just need these things A out of the way. Been bombed. I need to strike. And strike Lima. Bogota. Oh, they're in the wrong setup. That's why I lost Prince all my Mingo. ships. Havana again. They were all in anti missile thing. Anti air? Yeah, I had them all set up as my uh, anti ballistic missile defenses everywhere. And I sent them after your ships, and they were just destroyed and destroyed because they had the wrong config, basically. Yeah, so don't do that. Yeah, well, if you don't think. If you forgot, ship forget. Sunk. Wait, Auckland has been hit? Wait, what? Okay. No, oh, there goes the 74% oh, That airbase is still here. Get out of here. Don't be like that. Throwing a 10 megaton warhead on a boomer is a bit excessive, but it's too dangerous to keep it alive. Um, I'm still minus 120. I don't know if I can get above points that can at least put me at, let's say, above water level. Because we're already 80% pollution. I thought that goes very quick with this one. Minus 71. I only have three bombers left. 11 minutes of in-game time and 82% pollution. The AI seems very happy to try and nuke Mexico City over and over and over. I don't mind that. I want to hit Lima. 
Uh, I would love to hit Sao Paulo, but it's too deep. This battleship is hard to kill. That's kind of the point. Mm. Minus 21. Can I just fly around here to Sam Neff and go directly from Buenos Aires? Is that too... too bold? Yeah, let's just go for Santiago. I know that came at the expense of the aircraft, that's fine. Um, air defenses here are too heavy. Manila, however... I like send two the spot. aircraft there. <laughs> might be to do with Do me that. actually winning for once. It's been a long time though. Yeah, I'm just barely above zero points. Oh, I'm actually happy well, not to be below zero. came back quite well then, because you were very negative, I think. Yeah, I was minus 400. Yeah. Well, then you actually... And then the AI got hit pretty hard. Mm. I'm going to approach... What the fuck's the map doing? Come on. This is so annoying. Let me control my planes. Hit Manila. Point of no return is already gone, so... This strike needs to bring in a few points. A city has been bombed. And just do a... Bit of a mental hit against Keats. Not gonna work. Oh, uh, there you are. A Gosh, city has been bombed. Oh, it didn't even drop! <laughs> Oh. Score minus 108 still. Oof. That was fun. You dropped way more megatons than me, or is that what you produced? Um, I think that's what I dropped. What's the kill percentage? Like, killed the amount of people killed, but what's the percentage behind it? You know that? Not exactly sure, no. Because <sighs> it's not of total. Hmm. So you want to do uh, after talk? What was your tactic? What was your plan? Um, my, I didn't really have a plan so far as to get kills. It was just trying and tasting a bit of everything on the mod. Okay. And um, yeah. I went for a bit of upgraded ships, tried to mess around with you a bit. But once this nuclear war kicks off, it's yeah. just so fast. Yeah, I think you might have to set the uh, slider uh, to nuclear... Or what is it? Wasteland uh, contamination thingy? Uh, yeah, down. the contamination needs to go lower. Because else this is over real quick uh, once it started. And this one even lasted long. I mean, the one we did uh, during the day today, that was uh, that was even quicker. No, yeah. I, I, I went with, like, I tried to... Like I said, my destroyers were on uh, the wrong setup because I thought I would just use my destroyers as in two roles as defense uh, versus um what's it called uh other ships like your battleship which was kind of tough and <laughs> against um icbms because with this mod you can now get uh the icbm missiles on your destroyers um and you can yeah uh, on oh. your cruises as well and that's why i chose uh this nation or what is it not nation area as well because i can put my ships all over and they can yeah. just shoot it down then i later found out in this game that my sam sites can actually uh do the icbm anti-icbm or what is it aabm whatever uh, all those uh short wait they can yeah, yeah, but you you, you got to upgrade them to the fullest, like, I don't oh. know the tech. And you have to have um, improved anti-ICBM. Uh, right. So that that's what I found out later in game. Um, and then you don't need the ABM sites anymore? No, so I haven't bought any ABM sites, so I just used my destroyers and my SEM sites. Uh, SEM sites for anti-ICBM and anti-planes and uh, both thingies versus both in ICBM. And then I just went with, I think I built three upgraded SEM sites. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not SEM sites, I'm sorry, uh, silos. Uh, but they can shoot three ICBMs at a, at a time, and then it just goes real quick. 
So uh, yeah. yeah, so they don't launch just the one, but when you upgrade them, they launch triples. Yeah, yeah. So you've got the silo, and if you upgrade it, it becomes three silos. So I can like I I your what was it Mexico was just in range for me, and yeah. I was able to just like send line missiles that way and annihilate it real quick. Um, what was your information gathering on my continent? Uh, uh, southern states, basically. Because you said I had nothing, no, but, but I, I had air bases, SAM saw, sites, yeah, radars I, I, all I over. I saw your. I I said oh, you have nothing, and I saw what you had, and I was like, hmm, maybe I'm giving too much information here, and I let it rest because I could actually see you having destroyer ships, air bases, and I hit them as well uh, later on because I didn't want you to like retaliate against me. Right. Um, so uh, that was just like I almost. I don't know the English, but I almost had too much, basically. Yeah. So, so did you use a satellite or something? Yeah, I had one satellite, and ah, okay. my 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 ally uh, Asia had a satellite as well. Um, mm -hmm. But that uh, after the alliance was broken, I of course couldn't use that. So I only saw your southern half, and Asia, East Asia, saw what was it, like Alaska, and then down the west coast. Uh, right. So I knew you had almost nothing there, uh, but in your southern states you did. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Mine was flying over Mexico and Europe, and uh, yeah, well. I was really surprised that you said you didn't know anything about my area. I thought, hold on. You said I have nothing. Mm hmm. Of course, yeah. Looking back at it, that was a double bluff. Because if you saw that I had nothing, you must have had some sort of information gathering about the continent. Yeah, that that was a, a, I was. Oh a, damn it! I was like, I said, "Oh, you have nothing," and I was like, "Shit!" He, why am I just <laughs> like? He now knows one plus one is two. Information from that far away means he has a satellite. So it's like, oh, and I needed that information to hit you. I need that satellite there, else I can't hit you. Uh, yeah. So if you went with anti-satellite, I couldn't have hit you. Uh, but I didn't do that much damage to you. I only hit Mexico, and the rest had been done by others. Right. Um, well. So, yeah. I, so I what's like your overall opinion on the mod? Oh, I like it. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it's it's a lot. Um, and, like, maybe I'm biased because I just won a game, of course. Because <laughs> you, <laughs> I mean, let, let's be real here. Um, I'm just really happy that I finally won. Um, um, but no, I like it. Uh, the mod, it's quite, it's not even quite big. It's just really fucking big. Uh, it's really big. <laughs> holy shit. Um, so there's a lot where you can experiment with. I think we need to experiment with the settings of the game as well, because yep. like we said earlier, this is just too quick. Or, well, I don't know how long we've been at it, but like once the uh, nuclear war starts, it goes real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's something we need to like mess with so. but for the rest i like all the new additions um i like the like like all the anti-ballistic missile thingies you can have because turtling i mean that's the best in my yeah opinion. that's your thing yeah i like turtling and then i always cry if i can't do damage yeah why <laughs> because <laughs> i don't do anything offensive um but like i found out that um Actually, right now with the with this mod, I really like the ICBM play style. So instead of planes, I just ditch the planes now. Mm -hmm. I haven't used a single plane in or airfield or whatever in this match. Saves and, you a uh, ton of research. Mm -hmm, exactly. I could just okay. Let's not do that. Let's just do SAM sites that will cover everything, and uh, that worked. So yeah, no. Uh, but I'm drifting off the point. Do I like the mod? Yes, I do. I, I like it. I, I would recommend everybody to just have a look at it. It can be quite overwhelming uh, in the beginning, but like we play three matches now. I think I think I know basically what everything does and what everything needs, except for the army research thing. Yeah, I'm not sure what that does. Maybe that's a, a work in progress feature. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the, the mayhem. I hope it gave you a bit of an idea of what the mod does. More videos coming up on this mod very soon, as we'll be doing another couple of playthroughs of it. Um, of course, it is better with human players. The AI does use some of the new tech, as you've seen them use destroyers, cruisers, battleships, and such. But it seems to just be very happy to spam missile vehicles and surface to air missile sites for some reason. Uh, against players, against your buddies, definitely recommend it. Link down below in the description to the mod if you want to get it. Make sure you're unsubscribed from all the other mods first. 
because I don't think that this is going to play nice with, for example, any of Tarsus mods. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you, Kita, for playing. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys soon for another video.